It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. After over five months of waiting, my automatone jumbo has finally arrived from Japan. This was custom made by the creator of the automatone. They went through a lot of trouble making it. They made one, decided it wasn't good enough, and made another one. And it is finally here and I'm so excited. Including shipping, I spent roughly $3,500 on this thing. Money I should not be spending on automatones. But I did, because I'm an idiot. So I guess we just start cutting into this. To be fully honest, I do not know what to expect from this. Doesn't this make for great footage? Sully figures out how to open a box. I'm just, I'm just tearing into the box. What am I gonna do, return it? Okay, it's, it's a box within a box, our favorite. Now we need to get this box out of this box. If this segment is any shorter than 10 minutes, just know I cut a lot of stuff out. Wow, they packaged the thing well. I'm winded, I'm gonna need to take a break after this. This does feel like Christmas morning. I'm opening up presents, I love it. Except it's March and I bought this for myself. I'm working hard, so I gotta put my hair back. This is the moment of truth. Oh dear Lord. Got a product catalog in case I wanna spend more money than I already did. And I do wanna point out, this is not sponsored. I did not get this for free. I did not get a discount on this. I paid for this at market price. This whole thing comes in pieces and I have to assemble it myself. So here's the playable stem. I should grab an automaton for size reference. So this is the deluxe size automaton. When I got this thing, I was like, this is gigantic compared to the smaller automatons. I gotta unwrap all this bubble wrap just to make sure I'm not throwing away a tiny part that I need. Oh, I think I know what this is. Oh, joy. Comparatively, it's a little bigger. All right, let's put that there. Ugh, man. I, where am I gonna store this thing? Everything has that nice plasticky smell. This is the clamp that you have to use to control the mouth because the mouth is so big, you can't fit your hand around it. I literally have not a clue what this is. They have to put like a giant belt strap because the automaton weighs like 15 pounds. I got a sticker. I was unsure if I wanted to pay $3,500 for this, but this sticker has made it all worth it. I am overjoyed. Ah, it's a little magnet. I will put those on things. This box alone is very well built to store all the components of the automaton jumbo. Where do I even start? Incredibly, there are no instructions, so I do have to go to the online instructional video. Let's watch it together, shall we? There's a little screw back here, and I'm assuming I screw this in and that'll hold it in place. Oh, the strap is next. Good thing I'm following this instructional video. Oh God, this is gigantic. It doesn't even fit on camera. Oh my God, this thing is huge. Oh, the grip, grip. They call it a grip, not a clamp, grip. I have no idea what's going on. Okay. All right, all right. I did a thing. Now we get to mount it to the automaton. Oh man, I, there's no good way to go about this. Gotta use all my extremities. Progress, progress. I might've gotten something backwards, but we'll figure it out a little later on once we have to try this thing. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, that's hilarious. The way the notes are positioned, you cannot play this fingered, you cannot because the notes are so close together. It doesn't play very well, is what I'm figuring out. I'm not moving my finger one bit. And the pitch is fluctuating a lot, so. Hello everyone, it's me from the future. I just wanted to point out that I tried powering this thing via USB and it works wonderfully. So there's a problem with the internal battery, but when powered via USB, it works perfectly. So disregard anything I said about it being unplayable. It functions fine. Back to the unboxing. I don't think I'll find myself recording audio with this thing, but in terms of visuals, I mean, this thing is stunning. I think this is a great product. I wouldn't go out of your way to start off with the jumbo. Start with the normal automaton, and then go to the deluxe, maybe the techno, and then if you're really interested, 
go for the jumbo. So what do we think? Was that a successful unboxing video? So my final thoughts on the Automatone Jumbo. This is obviously a very niche product. Um, I don't think they're expecting many people to go out of their way and spend $3,500 on this thing. On the bright side, I'm probably one of the few people in the world who owns an Automatone Jumbo. So I mean, that's gotta count for something, right? The Automatone Jumbo, five months in the making, it's finally here. Was it worth it? You decide.